Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into uh, loading a program that you've uh, made already. So we basically go to File, Load G Code. Um, now it can take different types of G Code. We want to um, go to All File Types, and then basically we select the program we want to run which we just saved on our desktop. And you can see now this is the program here. So this is the actual G code that the machine interprets to run. Um, and then basically on this side, we've got a small graphic configuration of what we're actually cutting. Uh, we can also click toolpath up here and it just makes it a little bit bigger so you can uh, see a bit better. We can also, if we hold our finger on the uh, left click, we can rotate that around and have a look and we can also zoom in and out so if you're a bit unsure of what's happening it can give you a little bit of an idea and you can get an idea uh, see what's going on when you want to go back to the first view just like a 2d view you double click on this here and that'll just bring it back to a 2d view there um, now the blue line here is our cut line that's what we're actually going to cut the red line here is where the actual spindle is going to move um, when it's not cutting so that's just uh, the two differences there if you're wondering the difference there so once we've loaded our program we can either run it from here or go back to the run program up the top and basically we just uh, start the cycle Now, if we want to uh, hold the cycle or like pause it, we can push pause, the hold here. It will, after a few stops, it'll then stop and just pause where it was. Um, and then if we want to resume again, we can then push start again and it will continue from the same spot. Um, if we push hold and then push stop, it'll turn the spindle off. Um, and, and shut down the program. But if we then push start again, uh, it will start to run the program without the spindle running and then you'll, you'll cause some trouble because you'll end up snapping bits because um, it'll actually try and cut without the spindle turning. Reason for that is because when you stop it, it turns the spindle off, but it still starts from the same position where it was before and the spindle has been turned on in the beginning, so it, it it's bypassed that because we're starting from the middle of the program. So to uh, that's, that's just something you gotta be careful of that if you uh, pause it and then stop it and then try to rerun it again, it won't run the spindle. To fix that, we go rewind. That'll go back to the beginning of the program and then we can start it again and it just means that it runs from the beginning of the program and it will then turn the spindle on 